Hi there, Matt here from Critic Wind. Uh, this video is a an onboarding and tour of the Predict Wind Anchor Alert app. Um, what we're going to walk through in this video is the setup of the Data Hub and the setup and configuration and use of the app. Um, all right, so let's um, let's jump right in. Uh, so the first thing that I've done is I've gone to the App Store and downloaded the latest version of the Anchor Alert app, which you'll see here. And I've also upgraded my Data Hub to version 4.28 or later. So if you haven't done this already, um, give your Data Hub an internet connection, then go to the settings, go to software updates, and then click the check button and follow the prompts basically from there uh, to upgrade to the latest version. Um, once you have that, you'll be able to use all the latest Anchor Alert features. Uh, so the next thing that I'll do is connect my N2K system to the Data Hub. Um, and then once I've done that, I'll change the built-in GPS as the source for NMEA to NMEA 2000 on CAN0 and click Save and Apply. And so this will configure the Data Hub to use your boat's chart plotter, GPS, uh, wind, depth and other instruments um, as its source of information rather than uh, using the little hockey puck that comes with the Data Hub. Um, it'll give you the best accuracy. And then the next thing I'll do is on the Advanced tab, I'm going to enable N2K filters. And from the list that drops down, I'm going to choose my GPS. In this case, it's a simulator, but on your boat, it'll be something else. Um, and I'll set uh, the wind, the GPS, um, and I've got depth, but you don't need to set it if that's the only source of data. And then I'll also tick internal GPS. So what this does is it means that while your boat instruments are on, uh, the app will favour uh, your boat's GPS and then if you turn off your boat instruments, it will fall back onto the hockey puck GPS that comes with the Data Hub. Okay, so that's actually all the Data Hub setup that's required to use the app. So now if we go through the Anchor Alert setup, uh, you'll need to allow notifications. And then let's continue. And you want precise on. And initially allow while using the app. Later it will pop up and ask you for permission to always use the app's position, the phone's position, um, and please allow that as well. Uh, so you can go through the walkthrough screens here. Um, they just give you a, a bit of an overview of what's available in the app. Um, and here, I'm actually going to sign up for a new account. So I'll put in uh, a test account here. And we'll just make up a password. go, a little bit about the boat, and here we go, we're away. Okay, so I'll just um, skip through this. Now, if you've got uh, Predict Wind Professional, uh, you'll already be able to use the Anchor Alert app Pro. Um, if you don't, then you can get a free month uh, to try the app before you have to purchase a subscription. Uh, so let's get on with the setup. You can see there's a, an array of um, loud and wonderful alerts that you can choose from. So we'll pick one of those. Um, now there's two different types of setup that you can do. You can do a simple one um, or you can do the advanced one. We'll go with advanced because we've got the N2K. Um, you can select your measurement units. We'll put in a boat length here. Um, the G 
GPS is halfway down the boat, it's in the middle of the boat, and the vertical distance from the bow roller to the depth sensor is a couple of meters, so that's really important to get that right uh, for calculation of the anchor scope ratio. And then we'll set uh, drag tolerance here, and away we go. All right, so as you can see, um, it's currently using my phone GPS, and what I'll need to do is just make sure that I'm connected to Data Hub Wi-Fi. Um, here we go. So I'm on Data Hub Wi-Fi here, and let's go back into the app. And I think um, because I've just set up a new account and upgraded it to um, Pro, it probably hasn't recognized um, that I actually have a, a subscription now. So I'm just going to close the app and I'll reopen it and then we should be away. Here we go. Map test one at opwu.com. And now I can see that I've got the, the little red radio arrows here, so that's telling me that I'm not connected to the Data Hub at the moment. Um, if you need help with this, then just come in here, tap on the IP address, make sure that you've got the Data Hub set up here, and you'll be away and laughing. Okay, so now I've got a connection. And I'll just open the app again. Um, if you don't see that the radio waves turn green, then you may need to drop the app into the background and bring it forward to allow local network access. Um, so that will allow the Data Hub to talk to the app. And if we just have a look here in Anchor Alert, you can see I've got local network switched on here. Location is, I'm going to set that to always, is ideal, and precise location is on. And there we go. So let's just go back out now. And we've got a lovely green um, symbol here. And let's see where we are. Okay, so we've got the boat's position. We've got our N2K data coming through. And if I go to the navigation, you'll be able to see that this matches. And I'm now in my simulated location, which is somewhere very far north. There we go, look at that. Um, okay, so um, just to run through the other screen, so we've got the anchor data screen. You'll mostly see this um, when you're actually using the app. Uh, we've got the N2K data screen, so this is showing a live feed off the Data Hub um, while you're connected to it. And uh, when you go on to cellular data, uh, then you'll see remote updates and there'll be a little refresh button down here. This will update approximately every minute, uh, but you can tap the button to get something more recent if you wish. By default, we've got the anchor drag and anchor swing alert set. You can see the 30 meters that I set up here um, is set, and you can actually customize the alert tone. Wow, wait, okay, that's probably going to wake the dead. Um, so you can have a different ringtone for each alert type. So I'm just going to put a depth alert on as well. So to turn it on, we just slide that button across set the parameter at um, whatever we wish to put it to, which in this case I'll say is, um, let's say, six meters. Okay, and then we'll move on. So I have a look at the other things that you can see in the app are weather forecasts um, and uh, the graphs and the tables. And we've also got local knowledge. Um, so these are not working for me first time. Um, it, this one's just going to take a, a little while to, to load. Um, here we are. So 
but you'll see those. Okay, so let's get our first alert session started. So um, you'll notice here it's got the current anchor scope is 1.4 to 1. We recommend uh, just a default of 4 um, is good for holding the, the boat firm. Um, we're in 10 meet, 12 meters of water. We've got a wind speed of 10 knots. Um, and let's set the anchor position now. So what you do, um, once you've got the basic details right, I'm going to move my phone. So you, you just point the phone at where you've actually set the anchor. And if you've got the correct chain road dialed in, um, then it will know where the anchor's position is and you can start your alert session. Okay, so this is now getting underway. Uh, the process takes about a minute to complete. And uh, during this time, the Anchor Alert app is downloading all of your session settings to the Data Hub. Um, and it's setting up uh, the alert session on the Data Hub. And it's also activating uh, the messaging system that goes through Apple. Uh, so that when you're off the boat, um, you'll also get the alerts and you'll get the remote updates. So it takes a little while, um, just be patient, around about one minute, uh, and then we'll be underway very shortly. Here we go. Okay, so I've got my three alerts active. I've got my Data Hub connection. Uh, this little green box here shows me that it's on. Um, when it's not in an alert session, it'll be red and say off. Um, if I wish to edit the anchor heading um, or the chain road, I can do that. Um, so maybe, oops, I got it wrong and I just need to switch it up a little bit. Or maybe you just put out a little bit more chain road and we'll just set that anchor position again. Um, so the only things that you can change during an active session at the moment are the anchor heading and the chain road. We are working on making it possible to change the drag radius um, and other parameters during an alert session, so look out for that. It'll be coming soon. Um, okay, so once I've got up and running, um, let's go and activate an alert and see if we can get the alert to trigger. go that should almost be ready there we are right so I'll just jump through and have a quick look at the anchor data page so we can see the boat position the anchor position uh, the anchor bearing the distance to the anchor um, and the distance from the safe boundary so that's the distance from where the boat is to the edge um, of, of the alert area and as you get closer, that will count down. If you cross over the threshold, it will go up. Uh, the GPS accuracy, look, this is my uh, simulator. It's not the best, um, but you should find that yours is much better. Uh, and here you can see the um, data from the instruments matches what's coming off the, the data hub. Um, if you do go ahead and use some of the other settings, so other than drag and swing, we've got anchor scope. This is looking at the wind speed relative to the chain road ratio. Um, so, you know, if there's more wind, you need more chain out. Um, there's a little explainer about this down the bottom here. Um, we also have wind speed which is based on the true wind speed that you see here. Now, this takes 100 samples and averages them, so it's not susceptible to a gust. Um, it'll take a little bit of time um, to rise or lower. Um, we do have wind gust. If you want something that's a bit more immediate, um, perhaps set that a bit higher if you are going to use it. Uh, we have wind direction, which is based on the magnetic wind direction. So at the time of anchor, we'll set that as uh, your zero point, and then you can adjust it, um, you know, plus or minus a certain 
number of degrees from the way that the boat is receiving the wind at the moment um, and depth so you can set that as you wish um, okay so let's go for a little drive in our boat and see what happens There we are. Okay, so I've got a swing alert because I've gone into the uh, the swing area and I've also got a drag alert. So these alerts will come approximately every minute um, until you cancel the alert session. And if you go into the alert history, you can see, okay, at 11.03, uh, I was dragging um, 88 meters. My tolerance was 83, so I was outside the boundary. And for my swing, I was swinging at 13 degrees and I was only allowed within this range here. Um, so that's pretty useful information to have. Uh, so I'm going to um, just cancel the alert session now so that we don't keep seeing it. Um, but that's basically how it works. And if you wish to, if you find a good anchorage, please do share it um, on the local knowledge with our other customers. Um, in this case, I'll say no, um, but if you were to um, to add something and, and share it, then you'd be able to see it um, in here. Um, let's just zoom back. We'll save this location. I'll test. Here we are. Let's give that a moment. And now it will ask to use your iPhone GPS. And now you'll see here, okay, here's one that I've saved earlier. So this is a test anchorage. Um, but there's all sorts of really great stuff here in the local knowledge. Um, you can see here, we've got details about the West Harbour boat ramp um, and the, uh, the marina. Um, so, look, just a, a wealth of information here is available for you. So, yeah, that's a, a quick tour of the Predict Wind Anchor Alert app. And um, we also do have a help collection. So, um, in the instance that you need assistance, um, we have created in our help centre um, a whole section for the Anchor Alert app. Um, there's a lot of articles in here all about... Um, set up, getting started, um, what do you need, um, frequently asked questions. Uh, for those of you who've got Starlink um, or a Peplink router, you can um, actually just use the Anchor app on your Starlink or your Peplink. Um, but here's a, here's a bit more information for you and some troubleshooting. So one of the questions that we're commonly asked um, is how to snooze alerts. So if you're off the boat and you start receiving alerts, then you can actually use your iOS features to snooze it. So you just slide the alert across slightly and then tap options and you can mute it for an hour or a day. Um, you can't cancel the alert session until you get back to Data Hub Wi-Fi. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and um, enjoy safe anchoring.